Good evening, Stanislaus County. Today is Sunday, April 5th at 6 p.m., and this is your daily community update. I'm Kristen Olson, Chair of the Stanislaus County Board of Supervisors. As of today, we have 71 positive confirmed cases of COVID-19 in our county, zero deaths, and 1,620 negative test results. As usual, you can go to stanemergency.com for these numbers broken down by city, age, and gender. As you can see, I'm sitting in my piano room tonight because this is where I come during challenging times to decompress. And I wanna talk a little bit about these challenging times later in the video as it relates to our worldviews and philosophical perspectives. But first, a couple of other important items to note. Our data analysts and public health experts are working every day to model and plan for when surge may hit Stanislaus County. They have identified the facilities we will need to plan for extra bed capacity and staffing. Later this week, these models and plans should be finalized enough to roll out to the public, but keep in mind they will be updated regularly as new information becomes available. We also wanted to talk this evening about mental health. It is important that all of us are paying attention to our mental and emotional well-being. Let's take time each day to get outside. Take a walk, pull some weeds, plant some flowers. If you have a basketball hoop, maybe a household game of basketball. Another fun idea is a scavenger hunt in the backyard where you can find different items. And if you have teenagers like I do, maybe you can have a little fun on TikTok. I'm horrible, but it's a fun way to have fun with your teenagers at home. If you're really struggling during this time, you're not alone. Please call our hotline 211 or 558-7535 to get connected to assistance, or to ask whatever questions you may have about the challenges that we're facing during this time. And lastly, I do wanna talk a little bit about how differing worldviews and philosophies are impacting us during this crisis. First, to my libertarian-leaning, freedom-loving, limited government friends, I know this is a difficult time. I feel, hear, and am experiencing your anguish. It is easy for our minds to go wild, about what things might look like economically and when it comes to personal liberties after this time. But let's stick with this. I've seen the modeling and we're doing a good job at flattening the curve. If you look at California in comparison to other states and communities, if you look at those of us who started social distancing and staying at home early, it is making a difference. It's also helped me to study history and to see that in the 1918 Spanish flu pandemic, they also social isolated and stayed at home. Businesses closed, churches closed, and eventually life got back to normal. And so my fellow, again, libertarian leaning, limited government, freedom loving friends, we can do this. Let's stick together. We're looking at probably another four to eight weeks. Those numbers could change depending on new information, but we can get through this time. So let's stick together. And again, to us and to our more progressive, maybe more pro-security friends, it is important for both worldviews to understand that neither of us have a monopoly on truth. And so let's use this time to practice extending grace and kindness and understanding to one another. Let's make sure we're coming out of this in Stanislaus County united and together, not apart. Thanks, I hope you've had a great weekend with your families. Happy Sunday evening, and let's go prepare for the new week.